Welcome back to Ragecraft 2. Hopefully the audio is alright. I'm in a different location and uh, it's been a while but <laughs> since I've recorded it's, it's uh, quite yeah, different in terms of where I am and how I'm recording this and whatnot and hopefully this mouse pad doesn't screw me up too much. Um, I usually don't use a mouse pad and this is gonna be sketchy and there are dogs um, in the house at the moment which uh, hopefully don't, don't make too much noise. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's get this started. This is episode 42, I believe. And I'm here in Trinity Caves, having to go back the uh, old-fashioned way because I don't have the checkpoint unlocked. I'm getting there. I think I'm like almost to the checkpoint in the middle of the in the middle of this area. So that'll be nice to unlock, so we don't have to go through that thingy there. I think I have a bit of fire resistance left, so let's try to um, get to a point where that would be useful, I guess. Lovely. Da -da -da -da, did not light up this entire cave, so of course there's going to be tons of natural spawns. Oh, bit of lag there. I'm also running a um, bit of an extra computer. I don't know, I don't know, like RAM. I don't know what to get it. Might be a bit laggy. <laughs> um, but who knows? Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, food's one more slot away from the sword. Gotta remember that. I'm used to be able, being able to just like switch the food real fast and why can zombies just spawn right next to you if you hit another zombie? That's just so ridiculous. Ugh, doesn't make any sense. They should at least have to spawn at least like, I don't know, like three blocks away. So they can't just spawn on you and smack you as soon as they spawn. It's just, just, just doesn't seem right. It's annoying. Alright, I think we're getting to the point where I was uh, last time so we can head over here. Hopefully taking out... Oh, come on, how did I not hit that? I thought it was close enough to hit Creeper. Okay, those spawners taken care of. Careful around the chests. Don't have any knockback resistance on me at the moment. Did I just hit myself? That seriously just happened? Because <laughs> of a def deflected arrow glitch. Like this always happens. Nobody knows why. It's just really annoying. Yeah. Glitch and whatnot. Alright. And get to the chest. Hopefully no sneaky creeper spawner anywhere. Emerald, sweet, got it out of there. Trinity leggings, not bad for this area. Usually he tends to give uh, items that are like pretty good for the area you're taking on. Ooh, hello, I might as well just let you blow up there. Didn't set him off, but that's fine. And there's a TNT trap, okay. Blocked my way out of here, ow, lag. Yeah, uh, guess. Woo. Um, get out of here. Let's just let you off and run away. Hey. Okay, that was sketchy. Um, taking out that spawner. That was an invulnerable creeper spawner. Good to get rid of. Don't really care about that enderman, so moving on. Eh, da 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 da. Stop! I want my knockback resistance. Ow. That hurt. Stupid. Eh. Stupid hit time decrease, not lagging at the moment. Oh great, cactus men. Okay. <laughs> Moving back. Just to, uh, yeah, I bet they have thorns. Pretty sure I remember them having thorns. Uh, not that much though, which is nice. So that you don't always get hit by the thorns. Yeah, there we are. Got hit by that thorns. Oh, go away. Let you off, run away. There's a zombie hitting me back into you. Ugh. Okay, let's just get to this uh, pillar here, because I'm pretty sure this is the checkpoint. I don't really care, but actually, oh boy. Yeah, let's just run away from now. I shouldn't be in this area. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have gone that far in. Forgot that I hadn't progressed to that point. So that gas spawner's gone, so there's a gas spawner beyond this thingy. It's good to take care of the gas while, his, while the uh, gas ball is still in the air, because then uh, the gas ball just disappears without any harm. Let's just take this. Oh boy. <laughs> Panic took the creeper. Took the skull. Hey. Let's get out of this trap. 
such an obvious one too. Why did I fall for that? Enough with the skulls! Ah, so annoying when they have knockback on you. Bloody hell, skulls. Another dog scratching at the door. So annoying. I just let you out! <laughs> I let you out so you wouldn't bark when I was playing this, stupid puppy. Okay. Oh, Blaze descended into a random hole, apparently. And apparently the skeleton that was to my left just burned into a fire. Burned into fire or something. Let's take out this invulnerable creeper spawner. There we are. And the blaze spawner somewhere around here. Need to find it. Oh, hello. Probably in there. And there's a skeleton shooting at me, apparently. But where? Oh, cactus man spawner, blaze spawner, okay. And what was in there? Oh, just glowstone. Okay, I'll just block that off. So don't fall in and then get trapped and die or something. Spawners. Take care of. Alright. Just nothing too impressive in it. Might as well take the regen. Might as well, uh, yeah, grab some potions whenever I find them because I can't brew my own. No nether wart and whatnot. Da -da 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 -da. Is that a skelly spawner? Or? Huh. Okay, let's grab this chest. Ooh, diamond pick. Yeah, so I can repair mine eventually. Because mine's like as best as I can get a diamond pick, so I would. Want to repair it instead of replace it. Oh, wow, lag. Okay. <laughs> Man, come on. This this game. When it lags, it's horrible. Oh, where'd that ghast go? Any spawners I should take care of before moving on to the um, ghast spawner? Yeah, this, <laughs> these guys. Oh, these guys are hilarious. Stack them blaze on top of a geared zombie. Oh, okay. crap. Which did? Which is dead? Okay. Let you blow up. And why not just go for this? <laughs> now, puppy! Stop scratching at the door! You're not coming in! Ever! Guest? Taken care of, and there probably was one floating around over there. But I don't care. Okay, hello. Let's, uh, leave by another route. How about this? <laughs> Let you blow up. And eventually get to those spawners over there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You blow up there. No harm done. Okay. You want to take care of this spawner here. That should just about get me to it. There we are. Oh, another one. This is no TNT around here. Or around those creepers blowing up so far. Just kind of swinging my sword. So many hits. Ow, ow, ow. Can't tell if I'm getting hit by fire or these skeletons. Either way, it's really annoying. Hopefully the dog scratching on the door isn't too loud. She's a very loud scratcher on that door, and I just let her out, so it's not like I'm going to let her back in already. So, yeah. No sound. Okay. Let's take care of these three skeletons that spawn in here. Oh, they're fighting each other. No worries. So, moving on. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, Peggy! Go away! Okay. Lock you in there. And let's just unlock this checkpoint up here, which I... No, the back to the nexus. It's nice and low in the ground. Yeah, so that it doesn't get blown up. To the nexus. And there goes Murphy, uh, over the old dog, who makes a lot of noise when he walks. Alright, so we unlock that checkpoint, and Jekylls is being incredibly inconsiderate and whistling like crazy while I'm recording. And I'll just pause right here, organize the inventory, and do a bunch of stuff off video, and hopefully not have these stupid inconveniences on video oh, loud stuff going on in the background so anyway yeah be right back all right sorted out the inventory hopefully Nikki stops scratching at the door and hopefully juggles doesn't whistle in the background like he did at the end there and uh, we're back at the checkpoint a really convenient checkpoint in the middle of the caves it'll uh, help later to get back to certain areas that I wanted to go back to and yeah, let's get back into this. Someone's flushing in the upstairs toilet. 
And I can't really, hopefully you can't hear that on video, but you can really hear like everything on this microphone because it picks up like all the ambient sounds. Because, you know, people definitely want to hear some toilet upstairs flushing. Okay. Who damn chest plate? Nice. Except I don't really have a bonus item. That's a chest plate that I could repair. Yeah, I can I can enchant it with, with the protection four and breaking three. That that would be a awesome chest plate. Probably do that eventually with these levels I'm accumulating. All right, there's a spawner up there, but there's also did I loot that chest? Yeah, I think I did. Did I loot this chest? I think I did. I guess not. No. For the final three, not bad. Diamond axe, don't really care. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, set up here. Let you off. Okay, here. <laughs> Blowing the cactus man. Yeah, that was, that was funny. That cactus man just went, went flying. All right. I think the other spawn is a cactus spawner, so don't have, to, don't have to worry too much about it spawning. But I didn't anyway. Okay. Now I think up here is when we start seeing the uh, invulnerable supercharged creepers. Well, there's some supercharged creepers, but they're not exactly invulnerable, so I can. Oh boy. Actually, are they? I didn't see that, but ow, that hurt. Okay, let's back off. That hurt a lot, so. Ugh. Golden. Wait, are they in. Are they. Supercharged Rage Creeper? Eh. Oh no, they're, they're the invulnerable ones. Okay. Yeah, so they don't have fire, but they are still invulnerable. So it's gonna be hard to tell if they're not invulnerable. I guess every Supercharged Creeper here is gonna be invulnerable. I guess that sucks. Ugh. Can be such a hassle. Look at this—a like, huge, huge explosion radius, and it hurts so much, especially in hard in a hard diff difficulty. They're kind of ridiculous. Let's check if there's an emerald in, in here, because there's not. I'm gonna move on. Okay, take out a spawner and run. <laughs> oh, hopefully that's the only supercharged creeper spawner there, but you never know. Kind of trapping myself in a ditch here. <laughs> Oopsies. But uh, I don't think the uh, supercharged creeper saw me. Hopefully not, so I can move on and plan his explosion accordingly. No, run away, run away, run away. Ow! Oh, there goes the TNT. I, I, I checked checked that chest and I'm, I made sure there wasn't anything important in there, so... Yeah, I don't think anything important blew up, but that's one massive crater. Ugh, I'm gonna make a mess of this, aren't I? At least I got rid of that super nice Kirby spawner, I believe I did. So I really gotta be careful around chests uh, with these guys spawning around. Yeah, so I don't want to get anywhere near that chest until I've made sure I've secured every supercharged creeper spawner in the area, because, yeah, you'd be surprised. Their blast radius is ridiculous. Okay. Get rid of that. So the crap TNT trap, completely unnecessary, but still there. <laughs> Alright, let's blow you up in a relatively safe location, and shoot the blaze. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to take care of that blaze and, and his spawner before going for the chest, because the chest might blow it up and people are coming out! Yeah, why is everything going on now? Um, let's get up to this spawner. Get it. Yeah, I got just like one more blaze to get, and then spawner. And then you guys are coming. Super nice. I mean, it. Probably didn't need to jump off there, but whatever. <laughs> uh, it was more c cinematic, I guess. Moving on. Should I go for the chest now, or should I go for the spawners? Oh, yep, hello. Oh, come on. Don't you dare blow up the TNT, thank you. <laughs> okay. Got the zombies, and then blow you up. Shouldn't be in range of the TNT. Not even close, okay. Jump. Okay, got that. You're safe to blow up. This is, this can't be silverfish because the um, mossy cobble silverfish didn't come out um, when this map was made. Let's to carry these zombies. Just why am I smacking them with, the, with my bow? That was that was noobish. Okay, let's let, let's let this up so that YouTube can see. Because you know YouTube doesn't like to show dark things very easily. You can go ahead and blow up like right there. That's perfect. Eh, there we are. Kill you. Where'd you where'd that guy even come from? Spawner form is like way up here. Weird. 
Alright, let's get to, the, get to the spawner. Got it. Open the chest. Nothing too important. Sharpness, actually, don't really want. Let's not spend too much time in the chest because I knew something would come up behind me. Ugh. Man, they do so much damage when they have, like, a bit of time to hit you. So annoying. Yeah, I wanted the zombie, zombie flesh back. Yeah. Okay. Back to this. Get to this chest. Hopefully there's no spawners around here. Not great sword. Alright. Moving on. Get to that chest down there. Which I don't think I've looted yet. But there is a super charge creeper spawner right there. So definitely want to get to that. Where's this baby zombie going? He knows the perfect path. Whoa. That spin around was not something I meant to do. That was the mouse pad doing its weird stuff. Okay, diamond legs. Oh, nice. I can repair my mechanical legs now. Yes. I love those legs. I can finally repair them. Now I just need some boots. Okay. Let's uh, blow you guys up. Did I get them both? Please. So, yep. Ow. And uh, let's get over to their spawner before it spawns again. I'm sure I can light it up. Uh, relatively adequately, but there's silverfish. What? Where the silverfish come from? The stairs? Weird. All right, this made a huge mess. Can be annoying to get up here, but that's what you have to do with these creepers, and I hate that. Uh, unless you bring like a water bucket and prevent them from doing damage to the environment, you basically have to uh, let them explode and just yeah, it just makes a huge mess. Okay. Nothing too important in there. So, moving on. Holy crap. Just blow you up. Ow. Silverfish, of course. Yeah, let's just fall down here, because I saw that creeper coming for me. Didn't want him to blow up anywhere near that TNT. You stupid silverfish falling off of the ledge. Eh. Explosions in silverfish. As of 1.7, if you remember Pantheon. Just awful. Okay, let's shoot this skelly. And uh, let that creeper get up to me so I can blow him up. Run away. Alright. And back up the stairs. Hopefully not getting blown up again. Uh, up here, let's try to find the uh, spawner. It looks like it's to the left. Creeper right there. Let's light this up and then run away. Hopefully without blowing up anything. Oh boy. That was sketchy. Skelly shooting at me, so I'll try not to be next to the ledge there where he can shoot me off. There you are. I think I did the pre pretty good torching there, so hopefully I won't have to deal with the creepers too much. But the creeper didn't follow me, so I'm going to have to take care of him up there. Oh, hello. That's not a invulnerable creeper, so I can just take him out. Ah. Uh, Oh, hello. Zombie. Yeah, here. Oh, yeah, there. Actually, I don't want you to blow up there, but you blew up anyway. That's that's fine, I guess. You didn't blow up the TNT somehow. Shooting zombies. You can go ahead and blow up there. While I jump off the cliff again like a stupid person. I don't have any fa feather falling. Ugh, I need feather falling. I need my boots back. But no. Stupid diamond boots are apparently super rare. Compared to a diamond chest plate I got already. And diamond legs. Okay. So a couple silverfish up there I want to take care of. And there we are. I see legs there, but I'm pretty sure that was just from the zombie. It's, I don't think I blew up any chests. Hopefully. And I, okay. Am I really in range of that spawner? Okay. Get out of here. Random mossy cobblestone wall. Alright, let's get here, find the supercharged creeper spawner, there we are, get rid of that as quickly as I can. <laughs> that did not. Okay, so I see the redstone there, that's, I, I remember that redstone being there, and that's also like the uh, hardest redstone to make, to make sure you get. <sighs> that was close, okay, let's just blow you up in the middle here. Hit. Ow. Something went off behind me. Oh, TNT trap. That's super laggy, so I didn't get caught up in it. Nice. Shoot you, because I can tell you're lagging, and you'd be you'd hit me like three times if you got to me. Okay. Let's take this these bottles. 
and be super careful around that redstone because I don't want any of that blown up. And I'm sure there's a bunch of creeper spawners in that pillar as well. Because, you know, why make a redstone <laughs> uh, hard to blow up? Oh, but that was stupid. That was a trap chest. Let's run away here. Nothing better hit the redstone. Just watch it just in case. I don't think anything hit that redstone. Should be all there. Okay. Trap chest on top of TNT, really? Why? And of course the invulnerable creeper that was right next to it is still there because he's invulnerable. Random silverfish. There's the invulnerable creeper. We can go ahead and blow up in this crater because I don't care. Okay. Jeez, look at this thing. Massive crater. And heading up. Let's find some spawners. There's one that's inside the redstone pillar. So I want to watch out for that. Let's just let him blow up around this crater. Just make it as big a crater as possible, because why not? It's going to blow up some of the staircase, isn't it? Yeah. More coming over, coming from over there. Come on. So when you can't find the spawners, that they really become an issue because they just keep spawning, pushing you back because you, you gotta bring them back to make them blow up in a safe-ish environment. Let's just light up the pillar. You're a normal creeper, so I can kill you. Skeleton's gonna get in the way. Oh, come on, TNT trap on top of all this. Why? Supercharged creeper over there. Gotta be careful about that supercharge. Oh, let's get you guys. Kill the zombie behind me. Move on, because I'm stupid. Hup, hup. Let's just let you blow up right there. Or not. <laughs> Jeez. It's hard to even just, like, be able to run away from them. The blast is so massive! <laughs> Ow, I need feather falling so bad in this area. Okay. I keep falling into craters, and that's... It really hurts without feather falling. Ugh. Okay. Don't have diamond boots, I only have the chest and legs. <laughs> I want my boots. I want my freaking diamond boots back with feather falling forward and the plus movement speed. Ah, oh, that movement speed will help so much here. Just to run away from creepers. <laughs> Ugh. So there must be a couple spawners over there. Might as well head over there now that I've secured the immediate leftward path. So let's go up here like a suicidal maniac. See a couple spawners there I'll want to light up when I go back in, but I don't want to go go in with these skeletons here because they'll knock me around, probably into creepers. Alright, going back up, lighting it up, hopefully. No spawns, please. No spawns, no spawns, no spawns. No spawns, no spawns, no spawns, no spawns. No spawns, please. Okay. I've wrapped around the pillar. Let's light it up. Light up this pillar, I can see that super shy creeper. Spawner. Can we take it out? Oh no. Get out of here. Well that reveal that spawner. That didn't take out any any redstone, really shouldn't have. Let's let you blow up. Oh, that blast radius is ridiculous. Okay. Should not have to deal with that, that much blast radius as a requirement. Cause there's no way to kill that kill that creeper except for the blowing him up. I'm not going back for the bucket of water because I'm lazy, so... Meh. And that took out the torches, didn't it? So I want to block up to that as fast as possible because it just spawned, it, didn't it? Alright, sweet. So now the redstone should be relatively secured for mining. Should probably light this up anyway because you never know if he hid any more spawners in here. He would. So... <laughs> oh yeah. There's another spawner in there somewhere. So I want to be careful around here. Definitely lighting this up. No, you don't. <laughs> Sneaky little creeper. Planning to blow up like, close enough to me. Actually, let's lead you into the... Uh, like right here into this crater. There you go. That still hit me through like two cobble... Two layers of gravel and sand. Just the devastation that's required to just blow them up. Blah. Alright, let's see if we can light up wherever he came from. 
This has to be somewhere in here. All right. Out of torches. And that should be good for now. Okay. So hopefully none of that redstone has blown up or will blow up. So, ugh. This should probably be a good place to end the episode, but there's just a bit more over here to secure. It should be easy enough if I take out that skeleton. Sprint! God dang it, sprint! I have so much trouble sprinting for some reason. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm not used to using, like, the control or whatever. Oh, come on, really? Enough of these. The creepers are enough. And another one spawned? Seriously, already? Yeah, you can go ahead and blow up. Meh. Ugh. Alright. In this crater, as soon as I get out, um, and get the loot and whatnot, I think I'll end the episode. And then come back for mining up the redstone, probably. Alright, not a trapped chest. Free emerald. Other chest. Not a trapped chest. Ooh! Diamond boots, finally. Do I get feather falling? No? Weak. <laughs> at least at least they got uh, thorns, really. Yeah, I guess they're better than mine. Crappy mithril boots. But they, yeah, they're not the very good boots, are they? I wonder if I could repair my angelic boots with these without um, making the cost super high, because I'm not sure what... Yeah, it would, try, it would try to put thorns on the boots, and that would probably make it impossible. And I don't want thorns on them anyway, so... Yeah, let's just not repair my angelic boots with these. Wait, do these give me plus speed? No. Man, these boots are awful. <laughs> it's got thorns. It doesn't have that high protection value. It doesn't have blast protection, which I really want in this area. Blech. Doesn't even have plus speed. What's the point of these boots? The thorns? Thorns sucks. Yeah, let's not let those blow up right there by the chest. <laughs> and let's not go by that chest while I'm getting attacked by Blaze. Um, okay, let's just kill the Blaze. And lag like crazy. I said I was going to end the episode as soon as I looted that chest over there, but I lied. <laughs> um, should probably end the episode like now. Blah! Go away. Crap out. Da -da 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 -da. Skelly's being annoying. Ugh. Mouse, mouse pad making me look around like crazy. Something blew up. Hopefully, was that TNT? That hopefully that wasn't TNT around a chest. Cause I don't know how that would have blown up. It was TNT around the chest. Why? Why did it blow up? What the hell? Eh. Better not have been an emerald in that chest. Stupid TNT going off for no reason. Probably like a blaze nicked it or something. Man, everything around, everything that spawns in here is just like meant to set off TNT. I right clicked that for the flint and steel, but it didn't activate. But now I have to block over to this spawner over here. Of course, they don't know how to get to me. Well, they should be able to, but they're not. Uh, I got it. Uh, that was awful. Hope, I really hoped that there wasn't any emeralds in that chest. Not seeing any chest debris. But because there was so much TNT, it probably blew up the debris from like secondary explosions and whatnot. So, yeah. Bleh. This area, too many explosions. End the episode. It's been so long. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get to this chest over here before it blows up. No emeralds. Don't care. Super shot creepers. Okay, that should have been gone a long time ago, but too lazy. Oh, yeah, this is a little uh, checkpoint thingy you can unlock here. So I'll probably do that before ending the episode. <laughs> oh, cast. Oh, come on now. Let's let you blow up. Taking out all those blazes and creepers er, and zombies. So, that was beneficial. Is that just a normal creeper spawner there? Huh. Good boy. Ah! That was 
fine. And then there's another one. I'm gonna blow up. Ow. Man, that hurts. Okay. Oh, look at the pimped out zombie. He's got a flint in his hand, too. It's funny. Okay. Man, this is annoying to secure. Okay, let's go back here. Make this episode, like, 30 minutes, because why not? Where'd you spawn from? What the hell? Where'd you come from, Mr. Supercharged Creeper? Huh. Is there, like, a spawner hidden the wall here? Weird. It would be, like, in the middle of the wall uh, if, if it wasn't blown up. So that's strange. Okay. Forget it. I'm ending the episode just, like, right freaking here or something. So, see you next time for episode 43 of Vergecraft 2, and, uh, yeah, see you next time.